Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Jacqueline has the evening off. Topping our news, new DNA technology used to solve an almost 20 year old murder case is now being used in other cold cases as well. 47 year old Deborah Dalzell was sexually battered, beaten and murdered in her Sarasota home back in 1999. New DNA technology led deputies to this man, 39 year old Luke Fleming. He's now charged with Dalzell's murder and was arrested Sunday night in Ellington. That same DNA technology is being used by other Suncoast law enforcement agencies to not only solve decades old cold cases, but also identify victims. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick joins us live from the Sarasota Police Department tonight to explain. Jess. Scott, Sarasota Police Department has 26 cold case homicides that detectives are trying to solve. One case in particular that's three decades old could soon be closed thanks to new DNA technology. Persevere, don't lose hope, keep going. It's a message to families of murder victims whose killers still walk the streets. Peggy Thistle knows the feeling better than anyone. She waited 19 years for justice for her sister, Deborah Dalzell. And the many employees who have worked on this case, we can never thank you enough. The advancements in DNA technology are cracking cases across the world wide open. Cases that without it would be cold. Captain Jonathan Todd and his team of detectives at Sarasota Police Department are constantly sending away DNA samples to labs in hopes of a breakthrough like the Sarasota Sheriff's Office had. We're currently actively investigating a 30 year old homicide case where we've utilized uh, some of the recent uh, innovations in DNA, DNA technology to uh, potentially uh, identify a suspect in that case. Captain Todd won't reveal which case that is, an effort to prevent possibly jeopardizing the investigation. It isn't often, he says, that DNA was collected from cases so dated. Well, we have the evidence that, you know, obviously was taken from the original crime scenes. Um, and you hope that, you know, the, the detectives and crime scene technicians at that time had the forethought to, to collect as much as they could. Obviously, they had no idea, I'm sure, how far DNA technology, probably didn't even know what DNA was. In some cases, like this 30-year-old homicide case, detectives are able to go back and comb through the evidence and try to get DNA from it. These cases are labeled as being cold case homicides, but they're being actively worked. Uh, each one of my detectives has several cold cases assigned that they go back through routinely and look, and they're constantly trying to find evidence, old evidence, that we're able to use new technology to try to identify suspects in these cases. I talked to the command staff at Northport Police Department as well today. They said they were inspired after the arrest in the Deborah Dalzell case and that they're going to look into this new DNA technology to identify victims. They say they have some bones from a serial killer case, Daniel Conahan, back in the 1990s, and they have some of those victims' bones that they're hoping to be able to identify and give their families closure. Reporting live in Sarasota, Just Dowdrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News.